Fellas, the Mets' offense was stagnant at home against the Marlins. Different story on the road. Four games away from City Field. They've scored 20 runs. Hart, what's been the biggest difference? Well, I mean, it's not you get McNeil and Marte back. That's a big part of it. They just, I think they come out of Atlanta feeling really good about themselves after the way they, you know, they pulled out those wins there. And I think this team knows it can hit. It has, it's, it's been a little bit of a slump here, but they got so many guy, high contact guys that when they get it going, they can really get it rolling. And you got to consider the quality of pitching too, uh, especially tonight. But uh, I thought it was important that they bounce. Uh, through that, you know, after that Atlanta series and not have a letdown and come out and beat up on a team, a bad team like the Cubs, so they did that tonight. No doubt about it. This had a letdown written all over it when you just look at the schedule and the Mets said, oh, that's not happening when Francisco Lindor sets a tone like he did in the Atlanta game. And I've given Lindor a very hard time because he's making a ton of money. Yeah. He's a big time player. He's supposed to be one of the stars of the New York Mets. And this year, he has just been so much more comfortable than what he was a year ago he's driving in runs he's making things happen at the top of the order and hope to your point this lineup does look a lot different when Jeff McNeil is in a lineup and Starling Marte is in a lineup and as I also see in the ball Chris leave the yard I something know. the Mets haven't done a whole lot of it's the last couple of weeks it is beautiful now you know you mentioned something about you know how the Mets could have maybe exhaled or something you know after they beat the Atlanta Braves you know winning that series so were you nervous at all that they might exhale and be like, all right, well, we play in the Cubs, so we're not going to give them our best shot? Uh, yeah, for this reason. The betting line, Chris. The Mets are only <laughs> minus 135 today against a terrible Cub team. It stunk like a sucker. I can't believe I was dumb enough to give out the Cubs plus one and a half on Baseball Night in New York. But when it comes to this team, no, you shouldn't be surprised because they have this dog-like mentality. And I say that in such a complimentary way. They get after it. They have taken on the personality harp of their manager, Buck Showalter, and it speaks volumes. Absolutely. Yeah. He's that demands that professionalism. Are you calling them dogs? Like uh, I like that. Like what you and mean, not dogs? let the dogs out in 2000. Like no. dogs in D-A-W-G-S. I like the D-A-W-G. Yeah, D-A-W-G. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not dogs I, like they nah. once called Robinson Cano. For not a dog. Right? Oh, no. Lord. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just yeah, specify. Let's put that in the past. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, you got to love the way they grind it out. That's part of their who they are. They've really shown that all year. And I think a lot of it does go back to Showalter. But also, I, I, you know, I think some of it is just the way these veterans, you know, guys like Cannon, Escobar, real professionals come in here, change the kind of the clubhouse culture from last year. Uh, and even I think Scherzer, he's not obviously not a position player, but I think his work ethic, his intensity is carried over too. So all those things combined, you got you, you got to love the way these guys go after it on a nightly basis. Other big Met news on Thursday night. Jacob DeGrom making his third rehab start. This one with Triple A Syracuse, the righty on the hill up there in central New York. In the first, DeGrom strikes out the first batter he faces. In the second, DeGrom would find some trouble. Two runners on, nobody out, but he gets the 4 6 3 double play. And then he would strike out the next batter he faced, his second of the game. So DeGrom working out of trouble. In the third, Syracuse now up four zip. DeGrom strikes out the first batter of the inning, this time using the slider. And then in the fourth, DeGrom still out there, gets the pop-up to end the inning. That's the final batter he would face in the game. The former two-time Cy Young Award winner goes four innings. He strikes out four on 42 pitches. And here's DeGrom on how he felt on the mound. Felt a little out of whack the first couple innings, but then, you know, tried to make a little bit of an adjustment and I wasn't locating my fastball quite like I wanted to early on, but then, you know, the uh, last couple innings felt a lot better. The yeah, goal of today was, you know, try to get start getting the pitch count up. You know, I was, like I said, trying to work on locating the fastball and pitch off of that. Through some good off speed, wasn't quite where I wanted to, but like, like I said, you ha- I haven't really pitched in a game in a year, so, you know, it's going to be a little bit of uh, figuring out that release point as well. So, um, but all in all, I felt like I accomplished what uh, I came out here to do. And so reports have DeGrom pitching in a simulated game in Florida, and then he could be reactivated for the Padres series starting July 24th. So, Harp, do you think three rehab starts in a sim game are enough to put DeGrom back on the mound where you're feeling very comfortable and you're not having any anxiety of, like, maybe something will flare up. Yeah, I, I think a lot of it's going to depend on how he feels. I think he's going to have a lot to say about it. They're going to listen to him. Uh, he said he felt good coming out of this one. Uh, it's not, you know, because they, originally they were talking about kind of a full spring training. This wouldn't be a real full spring training. But if he feels good and he's out there and he can give you 70, 75 pitches, why not put him out there? I mean, he, he's going to give you – 
if he gives you five innings, then you can piggyback maybe a Trevor Williams with him. Why waste those innings in the minors? If he feels good and he feels like, you know, he's just very, real stickler about his mechanics. You heard him talk about it a little bit tonight. He's not going to go out there unless he feels like he's ready. Fellas, I know the reports say Jacob DeGrom is going to come back for that weekend series against the San Diego Padres. You know I'm a sucker for a good old-fashioned narrative. You want Can we see Jacob DeGrom <laughs> make his first start back either Tuesday or Wednesday after he just ate all that dinosaur barbecue down in Syracuse, New York? <laughs> Let's get Jake on the mound against the Yankees because I'm all about box office. That Chris would be as box office as it gets. But look, Jake feeling great, unscathed, Met fans excited because if they're going to win a World Series, they need this guy as a big part. I think they might want to avoid that Yankee game, though, just because I think they don't want him to get overamped his first time out. You know how he'd be if he's facing the Yankees. I think they're probably trying to ease him no, in. No, I get that hard, but I'm a sucker I know, for I know, a storyline. Hey, I want all the storyline. We'd all to be a great story, no doubt about it. He comes back. Do they run away from the Braves? If Jacob deGrom is healthy and making taking the ball every five days, do they run away from the Braves? I don't think so, Eamon, just from the standpoint that the Atlanta Braves are a really good team. I think the Mets are better. I think the Mets will ultimately win the division. I don't think Atlanta's going anywhere. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I don't think that uh, Braves are going anywhere. I mean, they're, look, they're, they're, they hit everybody, especially bad pitching. They're going to beat up on – they lead, lead the league in home runs. And their pitching's been really good, too. I mean, the Mets showed a lot the way they went down there and beat them without two of their good players. And they pitched really well. But the Braves are going to be there, I think, till the end.